Hi, uh, my name is Maureen Castora, and this is the apiary uh, that was designed and built by the Project in Applied Food Studies class. Um, we've been working on this for a couple years now. Uh, we kicked off with a fundraiser a couple years ago um, and raised money to purchase our hives and the bees. And we've also received a grant from Newman's Own Foundation um, who we'd like to thank very much for their support. Uh, so should I show you around? Yes, please. Okay. So uh, what we're trying to do in here is to create a place on the Culinary's campus for pollinators because so much of the food that we eat comes from plants that have been pollinated by pollinators um, and most people know pollinators are in serious trouble um, internationally so uh, we're trying to bring attention to this and also to bring pollinators onto campus we've got uh, raised beds over here um, that we're uh, just planting out now a few of them um, these are going to be planted with annuals, flowers, and also vegetables that attract honeybees. We've got our spiral beds. These are going to be places for uh, pollinator-friendly plants, not just for honeybees, but also other pollinators. Uh, we've got up here on the tops of the pillars bat boxes, because bats are also responsible for a lot of pollination. And bats are also in trouble um, because of a, a fungal disease that they're suffering from. So we're trying to bring bats to campus, hopefully get rid of some of those mosquitoes. Um, we've also over here got the Pollinator Hotel that was built by students as well. Um, and it is, this is a place for non-honeybee pollinators. There's a lot of native bees and solitary bees, the mason bees, the burrowing bees, all those sorts of things. Um, and they're also losing habitat and their populations are declining. So, um, you know, we're, we're bringing them onto campus as well. We have three beehives. Uh, the one back here is a traditional Langstroth hive. Uh, we're very pleased that they made it through the winter. And now that there are plants blooming, they're gonna be out and about looking for pollen. Um, and then we've got two more hives. This one here is a top bar hive. And the idea of the top bar hive is that it's the least, you interfere with the bees at le the least of all of the types of hives. Um, it's pretty much just in a box and you provide little um, uh, sticks that they can build the comb off of. So it really gets, it's very hands-on way of beekeeping, very natural, kind of the hippie method of beekeeping. Um, and then over here, we've got our high-tech hive. This is a flow hive, um, and we still have to do some assembly. But the flow hive is um, the, a new style of beekeeping, where you provide the comb for the bees, and then once they fill it with honey, you turn a handle, and the comb opens, and the honey just flows out into a jar. That so no really mess, cool. no fuss. It is really cool, yeah. So fun. what pro projects do you have for the next class? Well, the next class is going to complete the apiary. They're going to be installing the two hives of bees. Um, we also have projects not relating to the apiary. Uh, we have an ongoing partnership with Netherwood Elementary School and our students create and design uh, lessons around food waste, sustainability, multiculturalism, and they go into the classrooms there, the third grade classrooms, um, and they teach their lessons. After the apiary is completed, our next big expansion of AFS. We're hoping to build an outdoor oven um, and uh, maybe do some work on historical foodways and um, historical cooking.